So we have some relative outperformance from the NASDAQ from the first time in a while. That's because bonds are getting bought. Just like I said, we hit a key technical level. And you can see that technical level when we zoom out a little bit. There we go. So that means that these companies that have no debt and for some reason are getting traded down because of valuations, that's the reason. And well, now they're getting bought up a little bit. Let's talk about the ones I like the best. Adobe. Adobe is a piracy issue. That means that if they figure out how to monetize more with the people instead of doing subscriptions, this is a major metaverse play and I really like it. Amazon is splitting and it's in a downtrend for sure, but let's look for a bounce. We're at the 2100 level, that's where I wanna see a bounce. Who knows, it could not happen. But if, if, if Amazon's hurting, then the entire economy is hurting, that's for sure. And let's go back to futures, show you NASDAQ. And we are getting a little bit of a bounce. I'm not too confident technically, but you can see why this level is getting bought back up to. So it's been a long time since COVID and a lot of reversed gains from Amazon to Peloton has lost everything and then some but I think it's about time to start getting back into technology. If we have a future, this is the future that we're gonna be led from. These companies are not as much indebted besides Oracle. And honestly, there's a few other like software companies that have taken on a lot of debt like Salesforce. I do not like those companies, but if we're talking indexes, I like NASDAQ. And my goal for the end of the year is to close at 1500. So there's some decent upside. The downside's probably to 10,000. We're not in the tech bubble. Stop listening to people that are telling you that.